Immunotherapies are a major breakthrough in the fight against cancer. They have saved the lives of many patients with blood cancers who did not respond to other treatments. But cancer immunotherapy has not lived up to its promise to also cure patients with solid tumors, which afflict about 90% of all cancer patients. To more effectively awaken the immune system to fight hard to treat cancers, Avis team has developed immunomaterial-based cancer vaccines. Our vaccine technology uses small, implantable, or injectable scaffolds that reprogram cells of the immune system to destroy cancer cells anywhere they might be in the body. They can even cause the immune system to remember the cancer cells and initiate another attack if they return. Extensive preclinical studies performed by Avis team in collaboration with our consortium partner, the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, showed that cancer vaccines could shrink or eradicate multiple types of cancer, as well as protect against future tumor formation. Encouraged by those results, we initiated a phase one clinical trial at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute for a cancer vaccine to treat patients suffering from melanoma, the most aggressive type of skin cancer. The promising results of the clinical trial led to this technology being licensed by Novartis, who is further developing our immunomaterials-based cancer vaccines and advancing them towards the clinic. But we did not stop there. In a cross-institute collaboration, a hallmark of the VIS, this VIS team combined the immunomaterial vaccine with a VIS pathogen capture technology to also create vaccines that fight many different types of infectious disease. The startup at Avare Therapeutics spun out of the VIS and is currently using this technology to develop vaccines to address unmet needs in infectious disease and cancer. The fight against cancer using the power of immunomaterials continues within the walls of the VIS Institute. The VIS, along with members of our collaborating institutions, have created the NIH-funded I3 Center, which is part of the National Cancer Moonshot Initiative. These teams are working tirelessly to develop new immunomaterial-based technologies to tackle other diseases involving the immune system, as well as to create personalized cancer therapies for patients. Our immunomaterials team is also working with members of our Molecular Robotics Initiative to use origami-inspired approaches to fold DNA strands into shapes that present vaccine components in precise locations that activate immune cells against several types of cancer with improved efficiency. The advent of immunomaterials-based therapies and their further development will help realize the vast potential of immunotherapy and offer a hope for the millions of people diagnosed with cancer and infectious diseases around the world.